Hello, welcome to another wonderful and exciting episode of Jason's Shop. Today, let me move this a little bit closer here. All right. Okay. Today, what I want to show you is the Arkansas Oil Stone. Okay, I've talked about this a lot in sharpening in the past, and uh, this is an Arkansas Oil Stone. Now, I ordered this from Amazon. Here you can see. This is a six inch trihome sharpening system from the Smith's company. Okay, see on the top there, Smith. Okay, now um, when if you're doing sharpening, I've said that the Arkansas Oil Stone is the absolute most effective sharpening medium, in my opinion. Uh, I've used them throughout my life. Uh, now this one here is a new one. I just ordered it. I'm gonna use it a couple times. It's got three stones. Uh, the dark gray one here is coarse, and it says coarse here. Flip it over, medium, and fine, which is about a 10,000 grit stone. Okay, now uh, the only true Arkansas oil stone on here is this one, and uh, it's the fine stone. And as you can see, these two here are conglomerate or composite, just a, a, a bunch of uh, abrasive that has been baked together and then cut out and this one here is actually queried and uh arkansas oil stones will be all kinds of different colors and shades um some are pink or red reddish uh the finer grits tend to be grayish and you'll see a lot of splotching on them because these were cut from a natural uh stone now arkansas oil stones there are uh three different kinds of stones the diamond stone which you've seen on my videos, it's probably the easiest to use because it does not require any uh, lubricant at all. The water stone is probably the second easiest. It, uh, a lot of these stones are Japanese type water stones and I have one of those over there, a combination stone anyway. And uh, they require immersion in water and they use water as a lubricant. The Arkansas oil stones are probably the most labor intensive, more expensive as far as maintaining and messy. Okay, water evaporates, oil doesn't. It, oil gets on things, you you have to wipe it up. And uh, this, I got today, uh, the kit comes with a uh, little bottle of Smith's honing solution, but it is just probably enough for one, sh one or two sharpenings. I had to go today to a local store that sells knives and I bought a bigger bottle of Smith's Honing Solution, but even this is probably not big enough. So if you really are looking to use an Arkansas oil stone, you're going to have to invest in a lot of this stuff because you have to oil your stone every single, your stones, all three of them, every single time you use them. Now, these stones are based upon the Foley Bell Saw system. They had a similar stone, but there, see this down here, they have a little V groove to catch the oil if it drips off the stones. The Foley Bell Saws had three stones like this, coarse, medium, and fine, but they were immersed, these two were immersed in an oil bath all the time. And so when you flipped them, the just oil just dripped off and back down into the bath, so the stones were constantly oiled, and they would go from coarse, medium, and fine. That's why I bought this. Is because I, I it's the closest thing that I could find to their system and I think that they are probably the world experts on sharpening now today we're gonna sharpen a utility knife this knife is extremely dull I mean I would have to really grind to even cut myself you know and grind in hard with this knife to cut myself it's very dull as you can see it has a serrated edge we're not going to be sharpening that okay we're just going to be sharpening pretty much this right here okay so um we're going to step over to the grinder over here and we're going to sharpen that and then we're going to come back and we're going to i'm going to show you how to use this thing okay here we are over here at the uh sharp foley belt saw 1055 grinder i'm just gonna you know make a few passes on this blade i explain all this in my kitchen knife sharpening video and this is the same principle and everything so we're going to turn this on. Okay. 
Okay, we put a pretty good edge on that. The edge of the knife, as was, was very rounded and uh, not able to cut anything. So we're going to go back over to the stone now, and I'm going to show you how it works. Okay, here we are. And uh, first of all, we have to, we'll start with the coarse stone. Now what you want to do is you want to put a very healthy amount of oil on this, and this coarse stone will suck it up. Uh, lots of porous porosity in this stone. Uh, I kind of spread it out a little bit. It'll just keep sucking it up, so don't, you know, I mean, you can waste your whole bottle on it, but don't. Once the stone is kind of a universal, kind of a wet shade, um, that's good. Okay, so what we want to do, we want to point the stone away from us, and we want to take starting where we started our cut and hold it about the same, uh, you know, I'll move around here where you can see a little bit better. Move the cider press out of the way, okay? And you just want to start kind of like that all the way up to the tip and both sides. I'll rotate around because I have to change hands here. So two or three swipes on the coarse one. We're gonna flip it over. This stone won't suck up oil quite as badly as the coarse one, but it will suck it up. So same thing on this stone. You got standing oil on there now, so whoop. And you can really feel the difference in uh, coarseness of this stone. It's making a much uh, finer cut on there. Now when we flip it over to the true Arkansas stone, the oil is going to stand on this. It's not going to... So what we do is we just put a little oil on there. I kind of take my finger and make sure it's distributed over the entire surface. And we take a final couple of swipes here. I'll do three. As you can see, there's just oil slinging everywhere. These things are messy. But man, did they produce one awesome edge. Okay, now, get a little paper towel here. We're gonna see how we did. I'll go over here and grab a piece of paper I should've brought over here after I'm sharpening. All right, here we are. Let's take a look here and see how we did. That's pretty sharp. Wow, <laughs> very sharp. Okay, and this is how you use the Arkansas oil stone here. Uh, it's a very <laughs> great sharpening tool. This knife went from zero to hero, and uh, one setting is very sharp, and you should very much watch this when you close it so you don't close it on your fingers. <laughs> so, um, Thanks for watching. Uh, I recommend the Arkansas Oil Stones. This one was, I think, cost me like $23, and I have Amazon Prime. It's free shipping. Uh, excellent addition to your shop, sharpening all arsenal. And also, um, this thing here can be used in place of an 8,000 grit stone to take the burr off of joiner and planer blades, too. Just the Arkansas Oil Stone. So, uh... Give me a like and subscribe if you like this video. I'm going to be making more, and I'm up to, I think, next, uh, the actual knife sharpening jig. See you later.